Hello, this is John from caveprogramming.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at functions in Kotlin. So we've been using this main function, which is the entry point of our program. That's where it all starts off. And we've also made use of various pre-built functions. For example, printline is a built-in function in Kotlin that we can use to write stuff on the console, but we can also define our own functions. A difference between Kotlin and Java is that in Java, functions have to be part of something called a class, which we'll look at later on in this course. But in Kotlin, you can have freestanding functions. So let's define a function of our own. And I'm going to put this above main. As a matter of fact, with Kotlin, it doesn't make a difference whether we put this function that we're going to define above main or below it. In some languages, you would have to put a function definition above the point where it's used in your program, but that's not true in Kotlin. Let's create a function called greeting. So I'm going to write fun. This is a keyword meaning function. And then the name that we've just made up, which in this case is going to just be greeting. And then we need round brackets after that. And we need curly brackets following that. And I'm going to put something in there that I want the function to do could be whatever you want, really. Let's just put a print line in there saying, hello. Of course, you can have multiple lines of code in this code block. So this is defining a function, but it doesn't actually do anything. So if I run this now, we're going to get this line of code executing. This isn't going to be executed at all. Nothing's going to happen here. So you can see it says hello, but that's just coming from here. There's no exclamation mark. We're not running this code. To actually run this code, we have to do what we call call the function, which means to execute the function. So here we're calling the print line function. We're actually executing it and making it run. And what I want to do instead of that is to call the greeting function. So I'm going to write greeting and just round brackets after it. And if I now run that, we're going to see hello exclamation mark or whatever we've written there coming out on the console. Now, another thing that we can do is we can pass some data to a function. So here we can see we're calling the print line function and we're passing a bit of data to it. Let's take a look at a really simple example of that in this video. And then we can start in subsequent videos to look at more complicated examples of passing data to functions. So let's create another function here. Let's create a function called greet person. So in naming this function, I followed this convention that we use something called camel casing, which is where if there's more than one word that makes up the name of a function, we capitalize the first letters of subsequent words. But the first one, it has a lowercase first letter. Now, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to pass a name in other words, a string to greet person. So right here, I'm going to define what we call a parameter. Let's write name. So this is just something I've just made up. It's the name of a variable, basically. And then a colon. And then we define the type of the thing that this name is. It's going to be a string. So this defines a variable which is going to refer to a string when the function actually runs. Let's now say in here, print line. And I'm going to say hello name, so dollar name. So this is going to print a greeting with a person's name. And then to actually run this function, so let's write greeting there. We'll still call greeting. And then I'm going to write greet person. And now we have to pass in a string when we call this function. So I'm going to write a name here like Bob. And let's just run this and see what happens. So if we run this now, so we're running greeting and that's just printing hello exclamation mark. And then we're running greet person. So we're calling the greet person function. We're passing that a string. We say this is an argument. An argument is a thing that we pass to a function. And that ends up here being referred to by this variable. And then we can use it within the function body, which is here. So it says, hello, Bob. So if you're new to this, I definitely recommend practicing this. 
Just try this out and I think you'll see how it works. And in the next videos, we can go on to some much more complicated uses of functions involving more complex parameters. And also we need to look at return values. So that's it for this video. Until next time, happy coding.